remote desktop client. It's like MSTSC you are typing in and you need to type the computer name and then username and password. Mm -hmm. Understood? Yeah. Okay. Fine. So this was remote how to take remote from SCCM console. Now let's move on to our next topic that is um, that is software metering. Okay. Software mm -hmm. metering. What is software metering? I'll let you know. Uh, you may have some licensed application in your company. Right? Yeah. And you want to find out who all are using it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Suppose there are 10 people in your uh, Mumbai office. They want to have one application called SAP. And SAP is very costly and it is licensed based application. Okay? Hmm. Now what you did, you based on their requirement, you installed the application on those com the, on their computers. Got it? <coughs> but what happened? People are not using it, or probably out of ten, only five of them are using it. Okay. Hmm. So what you will do? You will say, okay, guys you are not properly using it so I am not going to purchase 10 license rather than I will purchase only 5 license and only give to the users who are actually using it not the not to everyone because it is like wasting of license right yeah. got it mm -hmm. so to take this decision SCCM helps you to find out who are the people who are using and who are the people who are not using okay mm -hmm. now let's assume one application just minimize your SCCM console minimize your SCCM console please um you have Skype, right? Let's assume Skype is a licensed application, right? Mm. Uh, is Skype there in Task Manager? Can you open Task Manager here? Uh, no, no. Right click on, yeah, and Task Manager. More details. And details. Details. Do you have Skype? Skype is not there, right? Mm. Now, double click on Skype icon. Let's assume Skype is a licensed application and when you mm -hmm. open, it will create a process in the processes. Okay. Skype has some issues. Let's forget this. Don't, yeah, close this. Close. Because Skype has some issues. Uh, WinZip. Do you have WinZip running here already? VZ WinZip preloader. Can you double click on WinZip and open? Okay. Was it already there, this WinZip 64? No, no, no. no. It just got created in the process? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, you see, when you open this application, yeah, you see, this is a licensed application. <laughs> Okay, you see this is a licensed application and when you want to find out who all are using it, okay? Mm -hmm. So close, uh, take the WinZip at the right hand side to see the process details. Now you see the process is got created in the processes when you open the application that is WinZip 64.exe and that is in capital letter. Mm. You got it? So mm. so understand this thing. Whenever someone opens WinZip, 
in their computer it will create a process and based on this process SCCM will capture the usage pattern so suppose I have used this for half an hour it SCCM mm -hmm. will client will capture and send the details to the server that this guy has used this WinSCP WinZip for half an hour on 29th of August if you have used on 28th of August for 10 minutes it will capture the detail and send the data back to the server got it hmm. now in order to do the monitoring of this we need to create a rule for this okay so how will we do that so just close this uh, winzip please Now go to software metering uh, in SCCM console and create a rule there. The rule which you are seeing right now, they are default rule. Okay, hmm. we we don't and they are not enabled at the. If you see the last second last column, you have hmm. no and rule ID. Every rule has its ID. Okay, hmm. unique ID is there for each and every rule. Now we will create one rule for WinZip. Right click on WinZip uh, software metering and create software metering rule. Type in WinZip monitoring. So you are monitoring WinZip usage, right? Mm -hmm. Now the file name you can type in win capital W I N Z I P 64 dot exe and copy the same thing and put it in original file name okay now version if you want to if you want to track a particular version you can give the version name there otherwise star for every version okay Hmm. any version it will capture okay English is fine next next close it now this WinZip usage monitoring is go up and you will see the rule ID and it is enabled the moment you create it it is enabled okay go down then you got it the second last one rule ID is 39 IND triple zero 39 hmm. you got it yes now what will happen the moment you start WinZip on any computer SCCM database domain or if you have thousands and thousands of computer hmm. the policy will capture the usage pattern and send the data back to the server got it hmm. <clears throat> now what you need to do is uh, let's go to domain uh, I will show you how the policy is applied and uh, how the usage is tracked okay do you have WinZip here yeah good now <coughs> go to a log folder yeah CM trace I'll tell you the log first open and there is a log called MTR MGR metering manager MTR MGR open now you will see the rule received something like that new rule received okay so the policy is not reached here that is the reason no no go down go down go down okay now if you wait for yeah yeah you see new rule mm -hmm. IND triple zero thirty nine received successfully 
Got it? Hmm. Now this rule is applied on each and every computer. Now what will happen, you know? The moment you start WinZip, now take this process, uh, take this log at the right hand side and open WinZip. And you see what you see in the log. You see, tracked usage for process 2132. Now, if you open task manager, task manager, more details, details, the process ID should be 2132 for WinZip. 2132, got it? Mm -hmm. So it is tracking now. The moment you close it, it will say try termination event for 2132. Termination event received for mm. process 2132. Understood? This is yeah. how the tracking happens and the usage is sent to the server. Mm -hmm usage pattern. I hope it's clear, right? Yeah. Any confusion? No. Very good. 